hello students i welcome you all to my channel engineers academy support my channel by clicking that subscribe button that will help me a lot now we are going to solve this problem it says that a biomechanical model of the lumbar region of the human trunk is shown the forces acting in the four muscle group consist of fr equals to 35 newton for the rectus fo 45 newton for the oblique fl equals to 23 newton for the lumbar latissimus dorsi and fe equals to uh, 32 newton for the erector spine these loads are symmetric with respect to the yz plane so these loads are symmetric about the yz plane so what does it this means that the fe force this fe force is at same distance from this yz plane if we mark if we show a y z plane so this is our y z plane so so uh, on both sides the forces are at same distances from the y axis so f e is at a distance of 30 mm from the y axis in this direction so on the other side it is it will be at the same distance and similarly this f l and this f o so all the forces are symmetrical so it is said that replace this system of the parallel forces by an equivalent force and couple moment acting at the spine point O. Express the result in Cartesian vector form. So first of all, all these forces are parallel to the z-axis. So the resultant is very easy. We can say that the resultant of all these forces is equal to the summation of all these forces. So we have 2FR, 2FE, 2FL and 2FO all of these are acting in the positive z direction so the resultant will be in the positive k direction so we can write that 2 times FR now FR is 35 so we will write 35 plus this 2 times FO FO is 45 plus uh, 2 times FL so 2 times FL is 23 plus 2 times FE which is 32. So this will be in the positive K direction. All the forces are parallel to the z-axis and they are acting in the upward direction. So they are acting in the positive z direction. So this is equal to. So 2 times 35 plus 45 plus 23 plus 32. So the resultant is plus. 270 in the positive k and the units are in newton now we have to find the resultant couple moment that they are producing so now as we know that all these forces are parallel to the z-axis so they are not going to produce the moment about the z-axis so the moment about the z-axis must be zero and as we know that uh, these forces and these forces they are at equal distance from the yz plane so the moment produced by this fe about the y-axis is in this direction and the moment produced by this fe about the y-axis is in this direction since and the moment arm and the magnitude of fe and fl and fo all the forces are equal from the y-axis so they are going to cancel out the moment of each other about the y-axis so the resultant moment of of this side forces will be acting in this direction and the same moment is going to be produced by these by these forces about the y-axis in the opposite direction so so these forces the moment of these forces and the moment of these forces cancel out each other about the y-axis so this means that uh, the moment is only about the moment produced by these forces is only about the x-axis so now we have to find the moment about the x-axis. So the resultant moment, we can say that the resultant moment is only about the x-axis. We can say that the resultant moment about point O, so that is about the x-axis. So that will be equal to the summation of moment about the x-axis. And that is equal to, so now as we can see that this FR and this FR, they are going to produce the moment about the x-axis in this direction. And the perpendicular distance of these two FR from the x-axis is, is this distance, which is 75 mm. So they are going to produce twice moment since we have two FR. So two times FR, FR is 35 
times 75 mm so 75 divided by 1000 is 0 0.075 meters we want to find the moment as newton meters so we need to convert all these dimensions into meters so we have to divide all these by 1000 so this is the moment produced by these two fr forces similarly um, this fo and this fo they are intersecting with this x-axis though so they are not going to produce the moment about the x-axis since the moment arm of these two forces from the x-axis is, is zero similarly um, this fl and this fl they are going to produce the moment about the x-axis in this direction remember that these two forces these fr forces are producing the moment about the x-axis in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the negative x so this means that these two fr are producing the clockwise moment about the x-axis so we have to put minus sign here since the counterclockwise moment is considered to be positive similarly this uh, fl these two fl forces they are producing the moment about the x-axis in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive x so this means that these two fl forces they are producing the counterclockwise moment about the x-axis so we will write plus 2 times fl fl is 23 since we have these two fl forces and the perpendicular distance of this fl force from the x-axis is this distance which is 45 mm so 45 divided by 1000 is 0 0.045 meters similarly these two fe forces they are again producing the moment about the x-axis in this direction and the thumb will point out in the positive x they are producing the clockwise the counterclockwise moment we will write plus two times fe fe is 32 these we have these two fe forces so we have two times fe and the distance of fe the perpendicular distance of fe fe from the x-axis is this 15 mm so 15 divided by 1000 is 0 0.015 meters and all this moment is about the x-axis that is about the i unit vector so let's find this this is minus 2 into 35 multiplied by 0 0.075 plus 2 into 23 multiplied by 0 0.045 plus 2 into 32 into 0 0.015 so this gives us minus 2.22 so the resultant moment about point o is minus 2.22 i and we can we can we can complete this cartesian vector so it's 0 j plus 0 okay since all these forces are not going to produce the moment about the j axis this side of the forces cancel out the moment produced by that side of the forces and similarly all these forces are parallel to the z axis they are not going to produce the moment about the z axis so we can complete this resultant as well the resultant is uh, 0 i plus 0 j plus 270 in the positive k direction so uh, we can replace all these forces by its equivalent resultant force 270 uh, newton this is the units are in newton and the units of this are in newton meter so we can replace all these forces by this single resultant of magnitude 270 in the positive z direction at point o and we can replace the moment we can show that couple moment about the x-axis and that that will be minus two that is in this direction right so the thumb need to point out in this direction in the negative x so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from hebel aesthetics